Hello, my name is Claudio Bussadori. I handle ecocardiography at the Pediatric Cardiology Department of San Donato Milanese Hospital. A large amount of international literature and increasingly widespread clinical use of two-dimensional strain imaging have validated this method's usefulness to assess left and right ventricular function, as well as some atrial activity applications. The use of this method has proven itself useful in overcoming Doppler-based strain imaging limits. A recent consensus statement published by the American Society of Cardiography has confirmed that global longitudinal strain assessment may be the most relevant and the earliest indicator of early stage left ventricular dysfunction. For example, when ejection fraction changes are not yet noticeable, thus allowing to identify patients at this early stage. Technology's evolution has now supplied us with additional so-called 4D strain methods, i.e. the use of three-dimensional image rendering to quickly identify all of the longitudinal strain parameters of different left ventricle segments, and therefore to attain quick, repeatable and clinically usable real-time data. E quindi di avere un'informazione in tempo reale, rapida, ripetibile e clinicamente fruibile. The 4D strain method, which we're about to use, is once again based on a two-dimensional algorithm. Compared to other three-dimensional strain methods, this 4D strain technology has the advantage of supplying an adequate temporal resolution, which allows to attain totally reliable measurements, even at relatively high frequencies. This advantage also discloses longitudinal scans over all three-dimensional data, a global evaluation as well as all of the purely temporal data required to assess each myocardial segment synchrony. This post-processing method aims to combine all of the advantages offered by the two-dimensional straight algorithm. It therefore supplies an improved temporal resolution while very intuitively providing the required data in an extremely short time through three-dimensional image rendering. This 4D strain system processes data that have traditionally been attained with two-dimensional strain, thereby offering the advantage of not having to run additional scans other than those performed during a standard echocardiographic examination. Since it does not require the use of specific hardware, such as Matrix Probe, it can be extended to a wide range of equipment while also offering cost-saving benefits. As stated also in a consensus statement published on the JASE, the benefits offered by two-dimensional base method are significant ones, since compared to a real-time three-dimensional system, it supplies a higher image quality and better resolutions, an important factor which allows us to attain real strain data, and most significantly, it supplies a higher temporal resolution, which allows us to track cardiac cycle frame by frame, especially during very short spanning events, such as, for example, diastolic peak. Esattamente tutto il ciclo cardiaco, soprattutto in quegli eventi che hanno una, tem una temporalità molto molto breve, come sono i picchi diastolici, ad esempio. Let's now see how the system actually operates. We will perform scans during an echocardiographic examination, ensuring that a proper frame rate is preserved and that a legible ECG signal is attained by the system, since it must be synchronized with the electrocardiogram. 
will acquire an apical 4 and 2 chambers views and an apical long axis 1. The X-Train system will then process the data attained with each apical scan and will be able to combine them in a three-dimensional image rendering, which summarizes these images as a specific three-dimensional profile, as a bull's-eye display, and a series of curves of a global or segmental nature that will disclose all of the information concerning, for example, epicardium and endocardium, a unique feature of the system, along with any of the segments selected by the observer. Questa è una peculiarità unica di questo sistema, cioè l'avere le informazioni selezionate, differenziate tra endocardio ed epicardio, ma anche di tutti i segmenti che possono essere scelti eh, dall'operatore. La possibilità di avere informazioni being able to attain volume or curve data describing velocity, strain and rotation allows to extend the system to a wide range of clinical applications. With regard to global values, it allows, for example, to detect the left ventricular dysfunction at an early stage by giving us information on overall longitudinal strain. Thanks to the system, a segmental evaluation can be performed also by coronary artery region, or it can be customized to identify, for example, apex segments with basal segments. By making a plot study of this type, we can attain large amount of data regarding an ischemic heart disease and we will be able to identify the corresponding segments of a specific coronary region as well as detect to what extent the same are dysfunctional. We can also obtain data regarding some cardiomyopathies, such as Teiko Tsubo cardiomyopathy or hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, where segmental alteration allows to diagnose left ventricular dysfunction. Being able to achieve such quantitative data, both global and segmental, offers a considerable advantage for patients' follow-up. In order to have an appropriate follow-up, we clearly need a proper report. This is why the system allows us to quickly enter both images and numerical quantitative data directly into the final echocardiographic examination report. Let's now take a look at our first clinical example, an 80-year-old woman with an anterior myocardial infarction and an occlusion of the first diagonal branch of left anterior descending artery, which is easily identified by coronary angiography. In this case, we see volume of production displayed on the left, the bull's eye is displayed on the right, along with all longitudinal strain curves. The white segmented line represents average longitudinal strain and therefore the average value of all analyzed segments, which has a minus 15 strain value. We instead see that data are supplied with lines that are scattered throughout the graphics area. This shows that there is a significant amount of hypokinetic segments compared to segments that could supply compensatory function. If we analyze the LED region, we see that average longitudinal strain value is markedly decreased, around 10 of strain, and we thus have very quickly identified the myocardial dysfunctions region using this system. This information can easily be entered into the final report. The second case involves once again an elderly woman with a large anterior myocardial infarction which had already been damaged by an apical aneurysm. We therefore applied this method also in this case and ran all of the scans. As we can see from the overall curves, we have an extremely low global longitudinal strain, but also synchronous curves that give us information regarding the increased strain, which clearly correspond to 
compensatory basal segments with hyperkinetic compensating activity. Ai segmenti basali compensatori che hanno un'attività ipercinetica compensatoria. Come identificheremo invece delle curve eh, riguardanti l'apice che presentano una We'll consequently identify a few curves of the apex uh, that display this kinesia, i.e., positive systolic strain. Ma per analizzare più correttamente questo, che cosa possiamo fare? Utilizzando la possibilità poi della customizzazione delle Using customized allocation of the segments that we wish to assess, here we are only looking at apex segment strength, showing that longitudinal strain continues to be positive and therefore that there is a dyskinetic strain in apical portions. Nelle porzioni apicali, quindi abbiamo distinto tutti i vari segmenti e li abbiamo riconosciuti in maniera adeguata. In ultimo, we ultimately identify LED segments and we witness where the greatest damage is located, that is throughout left anterior descending arteries region, and the consequences of an ischemic heart disease and therefore of apical aneurysm. Having attained this information, we could also add other information using other segments, such as, for example, apical two chambers view, but overall clinically useful data, and more importantly, the data required for cardiovascular surgical repair have already been documented and made available. Which is the most important advantage of x 4D? Simplification is definitely an important advantage here. We have a volumetric model available that allows us to immediately identify the data attained through this method, selected between endocardium and epicardium. Is x 4D a time-consuming technology? No, I would say that the system was designed with simplicity in mind. We can get all of this data without needing additional data processing or training. Which are the x train for the advantages compared to other technologies? The basic advantage offered by this method is that of being based on the consolidated two-dimensional evaluation algorithm system. We also have the advantage of having a suitable frame rate to process strain and a more effective image quality to obtain clinically useful data. How would you define the new x 4 d solution? I would say that this is a complementary characteristic of what can be achieved with two-dimensional strain, which definitely allows data to be more readily available, clearer to understand, and transfer faster. These features will undoubtedly expand the use of this technique and increase cardiologists' confidence towards this method.